was like, as far as I remember, some people were chasing me and a friend, and we went into a cornfield, and uh, and there was a glass house in the cornfield, and we went inside to hide in the plants in the glass house, um, and then like these guys came and was like I think kind of like uh, old-fashioned um, uh, like robber robbery guys you know like uh, thieves and shit but next uh, and they came you know and suddenly there was like uh, a horse and a rider on a horse you know like uh, uh, looking like a knight or something uh, and I knew it was he was called the was it the white knight or something or the silver knight whatever and he was my father you know in that dream uh, I was like pretty I mean that was pretty cool you know like get saved and he, he like slacked them together like and uh, and then we were riding back into the village somehow on the horse uh, um, that was pretty weird you know I didn't know what video game I played that evening <laughs> but it, it happened three times uh -huh. the same dream I was very confused uh, I mean my father uh, wouldn't suit up like that I think <laughs> Okay, I have a pretty good example for this one. Um, I was uh, I was fifteen or sixteen years old when I was skating with my friend on um, Martyr's Desertifica Square next to the church. And um, we just got there, you know, skating, you know, just hanging out, talking, just popping and bored and just not, not doing anything super loud or anything bothering to anyone. We were away from the people like 30 meters, so you know, like just there. And there was this old lady sitting exactly like 30 meters from us on a bench. And then she comes over and starts telling us then, oh, what are we doing next to the God's house? Why are we so disrespectful? Why are we so rude or unpolite? Or, 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 how, how do we care? How do we dare to do this? And blah, blah, blah. We, okay, we I told her, like, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. If it's really that bothering, we sit down. Fine, I don't care. We sat down for 15 minutes and we were like, oh, why, why are we sitting down? Like, Come on, this is, uh, this, is, this is an open place, it's for everyone, and then we're not doing, not breaking any law or anything. So we just stood up and started skating again, and then she comes back, super angry, shouting at us. I'm fucking stunned, and she's just shouting, like, What the fuck are you doing? I just told you, how do you care? How do you dare to do this to God's house? And then, then she said the worst thing that a human being can say. Like, at least to me, like, that was the worst I, like, somebody told me ever. That, uh, she said, I wish all of your bones were broken and your parents would die. Cool. You look cool, man. Very, very interesting. <laughs> it was very interesting night, I bet. And I got totally mad. I, I totally lost it at that point. Mm. And I started to shout at her, and, you know, just dropping my board in front of her, being completely scary, like if I wanna break her. She started to cry, and then her friend came and she took her, and I was completely mad. I, I really lost it at this time. Like, she comes to us to, to tell us that, like, what are we thinking? Well, how can we be a human beings doing this to God's house? And she comes up with a sentence like this to a complete stranger. What if my parents were really dead? You know, she doesn't know me. I don't know her. Mm -hmm. How come she just 
things and say this sentence that she wishes my parents would be dead. This is completely mad. Yeah. This is completely mad. There's so many people, there's so many stories and this is just one thing that you cannot say ever to anyone. Thing. Like yeah. your parents are, are there for you for whole life, basically. Luckily for most people. This is mental. That was mental. Yeah. I think that's the worst thing. <laughs> What's your biggest fear? Um, uh, I guess myself and my emotions, and losing the one I, the one I love. Love, I guess. I don't know why though, because I know I'll be okay independently. Um, like more than okay, but I just don't want to. I don't want my silly emotions internally that sometimes come up to fuck up the relationship I have with that person. So like jealousy or these kind of stupid things that naturally occur to I think everyone. Yeah. But if I can't control them then I, I'm scared for the mess of a man I'll become more so than I already am. I'm kind of, I'm, it's a stupid fear, but I'm scared of losing the, the one I love. Even though I just gonna have to accept that any minute she, it couldn't be, and I'll just be a little lonely man again. Yeah, that's the worst thing someone could say to me. Hit me with an insult. You look tired. You look tired. <laughs> That's most shitty. The worst thing. Yeah. When somebody looks tired, you should encourage him. Hey, you look quite good today. All right. Nice. Unless you feel shitty. What the fuck? <laughs> Have sex with a prostitute? Male or female? Any. For free? Of course. Hey, <laughs> uh, man, what the fuck's your problem? Should I call the security or do you want to leave voluntarily? Huh? What money back? What money is it? What money? You think I stole your money? I paid his bill. You paid his, he paid for Do you love yourself enough to make love with yourself? Probably not. <laughs> I'd rather go for the prostitute. See ya. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Why? Uh, is that question number four? What's your biggest fear? Biggest fear? Yeah. Living in the streets without anybody. Alright. That's so, it. Big time. Big time. What's the worst thing that people could say to you? 
some lie. I don't know, maybe. Uh, Depending on the situation, if I really know something and he should say to me the truth, he don't say the truth. And So, do you like coffee or tea? I like both coffee and tea. In the morning I drink coffee. Mm -hmm. And uh, other times, uh, when it's not morning, mm -hmm. I drink tea usually. But sometimes I drink more coffee when I feel like. Yeah. But sometimes I just drink tea in the morning, uh, you know, it's, <laughs> it's like... It's really like what you feel like yeah, having. Yeah, you feel like, or what's there, sometimes it's just, oh yeah, there's some coffee, oh yeah, then drink some coffee, oh yeah, there's some tea, oh yeah, then drink some tea. <laughs> One day you think, oh, it's like the perfect thing and we are matching together so well and the other day you think oh no it's like some total bullshit my mind is made up and I'm like yeah, yeah whatever I don't want to suffer I don't need this uh, and uh, the next day it's uh, something else again uh, and this is uh, why I say when um, you suffer from love uh, it is not true love. There could be true love uh, beneath. It uh, could be any kind of love, uh, however. It could be a romantic love, yes. Uh, or it could be like uh, like caring love which the, which the mother have, uh, has for, for her children. Then uh, your mind uh, says, okay, you love this person now. Huh? No? Yeah? yeah? You love this person. Yeah. So let's make it into s something like this. Uh, yeah, like let's meet her and date her. And, uh, and when it is not like that, um, it's uh, causing suffering for you. Because, uh, well, uh, you made something and then it's like... Ah. What's your biggest fear? The biggest fear? Nothing to do with my family, my parents, my, my brother, my sister. They're out of any contact with anyone from your family. That's a big fear. I mean, like, whatever, you know, whatever happens, like, they die or something, or, you know, you get kicked out for some reason, I don't know. And you just lose all your contact to your family. And then you have to start again, basically. You have no base that you can go back all the time if something goes shit. If something goes shit, then it goes shit. Yeah. I think that's my biggest fear. Biggest fear? Never told about it. That is my biggest fear. 
Right now, I think it's like meeting my, my, my father <laughs> at this moment. I think. Well, the last time I saw, I guess I saw him and I was kind of in fear or something like that. But I'm, I'm like delaying this moment because I've not seen him in the last five years. We decided not to see him. And yeah, maybe this re meeting I'm feeling of at, at the moment. Maybe this is my biggest fear at the moment. Why? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> is it like a bad relationship stuff or like. It, it is a bad relation. Yeah, of course. you know and I had one of these um, air blown uh, soft boats you know with the paddle and stuff and uh, the rib the lake was quite you know going quite flat into it you know and I couldn't swim and I was like paddling out you know and looked down and couldn't see the the surface you know uh, the ground of the water so I tried to step out with one leg out of the gum boat and reach the bottom but I couldn't and of course the whole boat flipped uh, flipped around you know mm -hmm. and I was in the water and I couldn't swim and I still couldn't reach the ground and uh, I was quite panicking around and waving to my parents who were on the on the beach and they were waving back, you know, like, hey, he's like having fun, you know, nice. Uh, and like, then I like just, yeah, got down under, under the surface. And uh, in the end, my father took me out, like he realized something's wrong. And actually it was like really flat there. And uh, at any other place I could have stand easily, but at this place there was some kind of um, crate, some kind of bowl, you know. Um, it was a bit deeper. And yeah, exactly at that spot I, took, I went out of the boat. I think it was <laughs> with my mom actually. Like we were the day before I left my hometown. But the night actually she was really drunk <laughs> and I mean I also if she's not drunk she's not drunk that often <laughs> I know that she loves me like with all her heart but then she was just like I don't know we were just standing there and laughing about some random shit and I just realized like how deep our connection is you know like we have that kind of humor I don't have with any other person that's actually what she told me like that she's so happy to have me, like, for this and for just... We can share everything with, with each other and... Yeah, that's like a feeling I had. I was just feeling like love without any... Uh, how do you say, conditions or... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alright, ready? It's a bit tough, this one. Mm -hmm. What's the worst thing that people could say to you? Worst thing people can say to me? The worst thing that people could say to you? Well, um, oh. not, they, they can't really. They can't? can't <laughs> not really. I mean, uh, they can say like, fuck off or I hate you or something, but then it's not gonna change me, so I'm kind of resistant, resistant for this thing. 
Um, I don't tell that, that I'm gonna feel good if somebody say like he or she hates me, but it's still not going to change me. The way I am is the way I am, not not because somebody tells me things or uh, nobody will change me in this way. I think so. They can't tell me bad things or something like this. I think. All right. I try to try to be like that, you know. What? I try to try to be like that, like not to be able to be harmed by other because of another person or because somebody tells me something, something like this. All right.